Hey, good morning to you. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Thursday, January 7th, so I hope you have a great Thursday out there. One more day away from Friday, guys. Now, we do have many things to talk about. I will put a timestamp in the description once again to save you your time. We have tornado warnings that we need to worry about, areas that could have problems with these thunderstorms in the south, as long with the watches and warnings, the winter storm warnings, the flood warnings. I will go over everything. Now, the snowfall that we're about to have is going to play a tricky uh, number as far as the temperatures go. It's going to play a big a big thing as far as the temperatures. It's going to bring, be bringing the warm air from the Gulf. It is going to be a weak uh, upper level low so it won't have a chance to strengthen because it's getting blocked by a high pressure in the north now if you've never been here before hit the subscribe button i do upload every single morning so god bless you today hope you have a great day today and i always welcome new people thank you for joining now this is your euro i'm going to show you the euro as well as the gfs because they are showing dramatically differences and that's one reason why i didn't make a video about the northeast snowfall yet because of what i've been seeing plus being so far away now literally in 12 hours away according to the euro the snow will add up for southern missouri northern arkansas and a little bit of southwest uh, arkansas it won't be a whole bunch though because it will be a lot of mixed accumulation with this snow it will be some freezing rain that's because the temperatures will be a little too warm for everybody now as it moves into tomorrow the snow will affect uh eastern tennessee north uh, north carolina and uh a little bit of Virginia but mostly this is going to be in the higher elevations guys because it's going to be way too warm underneath for the time that this storm is moving through and we also have our second system which is literally moving in on Sunday on the 10th and it's going to start in New Mexico some of Colorado and it's going to move towards uh, Texas which is showing way different anomalies guys now Euro really goes over over uh, <laughs> over on every everything that it does on this model and it shows everybody getting a whole bunch of snowfall and they're getting into uh, eastern Texas and Louisiana by Monday and then going across some of Mississippi as it goes across Tennessee on Tuesday with, with Kentucky and getting into the factor and the heavy snowfall that you do see right here also by uh, West Virginia uh, and Virginia this this is gonna be some higher elevations as well and then it's gonna move to the northeast with the potential for some heavier snowfall uh, for the New England states as well as Pennsylvania uh, some of some of Maryland some of New Jersey New Jersey is gonna be about half and half now literally 6 to 12 hours from now you can see our low pressure system moving uh, right across the south and southeast and this is going to be blocked by a high pressure so it will not strengthen so it'll be a weak upper level low but it'll still at the same time will be sucking this moisture and this warm air from the gulf of mexico and it'll be bringing it around and the best chance for snow will be after the storm moves so all the snowfall will be happening on the north uh the north to northwest of this system anywhere else is going to be freezing rain and it's going to be some a lot of uh flooding rain for some of y'all but you can see as it moves off to the east, and it will go away from South Carolina, North Carolina, and then as it leaves, it has a chance to drop the snowfall for North Carolina, uh, eastern Tennessee, when the cold temperatures are able to move back in, because anywhere is near this low pressure is going to be warm. Now, as we go from Sunday into Monday, there will be a divergence, and I'll show you that in a second. It would be the cold air coming down, the warm air coming up from the gulf and when these two hit each other it's going to cause some rotation it's going to bring up a, a, a upper level low it's going to be weak at first but it is going to start up over texas and louisiana and once again the north to northwest side of the system as it as it passes through monday and tuesday is where the snowfall is going to be hitting because anywhere else is going to be the rain because it's going to be too warm from the gulf and it does strengthen as it leaves the northeast uh, but by then, it, it once again, it's hugging the coast. So all this right here is going to be rain, and I'll show you that. But as it gets away on Wednesday, the best chance for snow would be here because all the warm uh, water, all the warm air is moving off to, to the uh, ocean, and all the cold air is able to move in uh, from west to east. And with this cyclonic going uh, counterclockwise, it's spinning the precipitation around and the cold air is freezing it, turning it into snow. So the best chance for snow will be Tuesday and Wednesday on that storm. Now, as far as the heaviness of that snow, that's a whole nother story. 
but literally in 12 hours you can see our system moving up and this is bringing all this warm uh, temperatures all this moisture I'll show you that with the temperatures but it is going to be on the north and northwest side uh, of, of uh, Missouri and Arkansas that is going to be seeing a lot of this snowfall there also is going to be a lot of freezing rain with this because as this system moves to the east there's going to be warm temperatures coming in from the, this warm air from the Gulf. And it's going to be turning all this precipitation. It might show snow in the higher elevations because it is cold air aloft. But as it comes down closer to the surface, it will be more like freezing rain because it's going to warm right back up. And then the ground's not going to be frozen before it does that. So it won't stick as that. It'll just melt to rainfall. So you will definitely have a lot of mixed precipitation, a lot of sleet. A lot of rain some seeing snow but getting into that wet snow uh, for this first storm system that's going to be for sure now as you the warm air and the, and the and the cold air comes in and clashes together and causes the divergence it causes lift and that causes the vorticity and it will uh, produce a cyclonic uh, upper level low that will be weak at first but it will start to strengthen as it moves to the east and it will start dropping uh, heavier snowfall amounts now i'm going to show you the the gfs is also up close because euro and gfs is showing different amounts especially for texas as we go through this but you can see as the warm air comes up from the from the east that anything south southeast and southwest will just be freezing rain or just rain it has to come at after the system passes to drop the heavier snowfall amounts and this one does track through tennessee and you can see tennessee is literally half and half you're either going to have mixed precipitation you're going to have snow or you're going to have rain and the gfs is showing a different track so this still is not set in stone on how much snowfall will come out of this uh this storm i'm still showing that it will be lights amounts uh, according to the GFS now by Tuesday it'll be moving up through Kentucky uh, you can see the precipitation with them with the amounts of the temperatures this is where North Carolina I'm not showing you going to be in the snowfall uh, higher elevations might see some freezing rain but that's about it uh, north of North Virginia we'll see some snowfall that's for sure but how much is still questionable like I said GFS isn't showing heavy amounts and then as you go into Tuesday is when it moves to the northeast now the euro has it a little bit more northern than the GFS has it and if that shows true at first you will see rainfall uh, for the northeast as it moves in but as the system moves away with the warm air and the cold air is able to come in and turn that precipitation into snow then you'll start to see the snowfall but like you say uh, you see like up in the northeast that it, like New Jersey Maryland you're half rain half snow it all depends where the system is going to travel is it going to stay up to the north or is it going to uh, stay more southern like the gfs uh, is showing but the best chance would be on wednesday uh, for the new england states especially uh, massachusetts connecticut uh, lower vermont y'all definitely going to be getting some snowfall on the north to northwest side of the system as it passes through and leaves uh, however i'm showing maine maine won't get anything the GFS not only is it showing lights light snowfall for the first event is, is warm temperatures I'm mean, that's what I'm agreeing with I'm agreeing with the GFS on this system uh, it's showing matter of fact there'll be nothing uh, for northern Arkansas except very light I believe that'd be a little bit heavier because that is where it's going to be spinning but once again the warm air is going to be closest to the uh, the low pressure system so that could show true and I also believe this will be light like by Asheville North Carolina this is all going to be higher elevations and then as the second system moves and leaves leaves Texas and comes across Louisiana like I said it looks like it is going to be low amounts if any I think it's going to be more of a freezing rain issue and it's also shown that the warm air does track up and see it comes to a time of day GFS shows it six hours earlier so six hours earlier and then you got to deal with all this heating uh, they, that the euro is showing that will, that the snowfall will come overnight and the GFS is showing that it's not going to be a big event at all now once again let's compare this is the second system uh, starting literally 72 78 hours away uh, starting on Sunday guys and it's coming from Texas now this is the euro version of what's going to happen from Texas Louisiana Mississippi and this is your GFS version 
where it's showing lighter amounts because it's six hours earlier and that's how much of a difference it's going to make. Now for the next 24 hours all the way from from the very uh, edge of, of Mobile, Alabama all the way to the uh, Florida Panhandle also on the south uh, west of Florida has a 2% two, 2 chance of tornadoes. That is a 1 out of 10 guys uh, from the system because the south will be having some rain bands. Also these are flood warnings that is going for South Carolina still, uh, North Carolina. It's not going to expire until the 11th and, the, and South Carolina, they got some for the 7th but they don't expire all the way till the 11th guys because of these two systems that's coming. Uh, also, for this one section that we have for Tennessee and North Carolina, we do have winter storm watches for portions of North Carolina. Western Carolinas and Northeast Georgia tonight into Friday, a storm system will be moving from the deep south through the coastal plain of Georgia and South Carolina. It will spread precipitation into the region from late this evening through Friday morning before tapering off late Friday. Uh, sufficient cold air will be in place for many, uh, for mainly snow to fall uh, across the mountains, see higher elevations, with the exception of the lowest valleys of extreme southwest North Carolina, while precipitation is expected to initially fall as rain across the foothills and northwest Piedmont. Cooling temperatures will support a transition to snow Friday morning, roughly along, along and north of I-40. Heavy snow accumulations will be possible in these areas before precip the precipitation tapers off or changes back to rain Friday afternoon. While rain and snow are expected to be the main precipitation types, a brief period of sleet or freezing rain will be possible, especially from the Blue Ridge uh, Escarpment through the Northwest Piedmont. Wow, Blue, the Blue Ridge. I'm telling you, that Blue Ridge Parkway, you ever dr take a drive, that is a beautiful place to go. Uh, but any sleet or ice accumulations are expected to be minor, guys. Uh, let's see, a mixture of heavy snow and, and ice is possible. Total, uh, total snow accumulations is 3 to 6 inches. And that's for the winter storm watch areas. And for the winter storm warnings that you also have, it's the same area they're talking about, except now it's total accumulations is up to 4 to 8 inches for anywhere in the brown. Uh, this right here that you see for Tennessee this is going to be uh, a mixed precipitation. You might see one to three inches of snow and up to up to an inch or two possible across portions of the Central Valley. So that this is from National Weather Service. Just so you all know, this, these are the National Weather Service advisories. And you got the winter storm warning also for northern Arkansas. And you got some weather advisories for northern Arkansas with the flood warning on the south side of this, guys. So this is going to bring the flooding. Now I'm going to play this so you can see this. Uh, whole transition of the thunderstorms that's coming and bringing the rain bands and po the potential for uh, uh, tornadoes. And you also got the snowfall and the rain and the freezing rain as the precipitation changes uh, for the central valleys. Now, I do appreciate y'all for, for really being there for me with my decision on my second channel. I mean, it's been there for a while now. It's just, it really surprised me that it's grown so good as well. But I will always be here for you every single morning. And like I said, I will start my life off with God every day. Because that's the direction we all should go. Amen. I want to read to you this morning. Philippians 4. Therefore, my brethren... Dearly beloved and longed for, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech Eudeus and beseech Syntec, that they be at the, of the same mind in the Lord, and I, I, and I entreat thee also, true yellow folk, sorry, true yoke, yoke fellow, help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer 
and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do. And the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again. Wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned, in whatsoever state I am, therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to be abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to be abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Notwithstanding ye have well done, that ye did communicate with my affliction. Now ye Philippians know also, that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonica, ye sent once and again unto my necessity. Not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. But I have all and abound. I am full, having received of Aphrodite the things which were sent from you, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren which are with, with me greet you. All the saints salute you. Chiefly they that are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a, a wonderful Thursday. Whether you're going to school, whether you're going to work, or whether you're in your truck or in your bunk bed, I don't care. Hit that like button for me. Take a minute. I appreciate you. I do love you all. All glory does go to God. Amen.